Okay, uh, for you, the cue card is describe a book you read that you found useful or describe an exciting book that you read. The cues are when you read it, what type of book is it, what it is about and why did you find this book useful. So you'll have to speak on this topic for one right. to two minutes and your time starts now. Uh, all these questions uh, I have to answer uh, one by one. You, yes, you will yes. Ask. No, I will not ask. In cue card, examiner will not ask you any question. Right. Examiner will give you the cue card quietly. Now it's on you to look at the cue and then speak on it. Okay. So examiner will not say that. Okay, what is it about and all that. So. Uh, well, uh, I think I have not uh, read many books uh, apart from my. Uh, textbooks. Uh, however, here I would like to uh, discuss with you uh, my uh, book I have uh, read uh, one year ago. Uh, that's my favorite book, and that's name. Uh, the book name is uh, Thinking Fast and Slow. Uh, so uh, the book uh, is very interesting. I uh, I read it uh, last year, just last years ago. Uh, when I was uh, at my preparation um, of uh, CSS exams, uh, so my teacher uh, referred me this book because uh, this was so interesting. Uh, and uh, in, in this book, it's all about it's all about psychology that how your brain works, uh, uh, how you think. Uh, in other ways, that there are two type of thinking in this book that uh, one is slow thinking and one is fast thinking. So uh, I think this is very interesting book. Uh, the author of this book is uh, Daniel <coughs> Durkheim uh, and he wrote this book in uh, 2011. Uh, so he was also a, a winner of Nobel Prize uh, and I think that uh, this book uh, was very uh, much famous um, after, the, after he published. Uh, so there are a lot of reasons that uh, why this book uh, became so much famous. Uh, so whenever you would read this book, uh, you, you will find a lot of uh, lot of things that's uh, so much relevant to your daily life, routine life. Uh, so uh, there are many things uh, that I would like to mention here. That first of all, in this book, uh, it's all about your brain, that how it works, and how you think whenever you going to talk with someone, how you argue with someone, or uh, similar like things like this uh, so there are many other things okay uh, time is over you have spoken for two minutes and this is good that you right. spoke for two minutes and you tried to cover the topic as much as possible right. initially when you took the start you did some mistakes repeatedly mm -hmm. and these mistakes were in the use of past tense like you said i have uh, read this book one year ago i read it last year so the second form of read is read. Spelling is same, Spelling is same. but we pronounce it as read. That's read, read, read. Actually, I am uh, asking. I am uh, okay. Saying in past tense. I okay, but you used actually read. read. Yeah, read yes. is second form, and you use this word like four or five times, yes. and that would come in repetition right. also. So don't repeat the same word several times. And then you pronounce the word psychology, like psychology, or you, you pronounced it different in a different way. And then at one point you said, will found. It should be will find, right? So you used second form found with that. So uh, like uh, there were grammatical mistakes. And then there were some mistakes in fluency because you're doing like uh, and ah uh, and all that, okay? So these are some of the issues you really need to overcome. If you don't have grammar mistakes, you can get better band score with that also. Yeah. Uh, and especially the grammar mistakes in the use of past and present. So this type of speaking may bring you around 5.5. Right. Now, what's my suggestion for improvement? Number one, you need to improve your grammar. Right. Means if it is past tense, you should use past tense. Number two, you have to focus your fluency. Because fluency, I mean, there are four criteria. First is fluency, second is pronunciation, right. third is grammar, fourth is vocabulary. So in vocabulary also, no repetition. And in grammar, correct sentences should be made. In pronunciation, like you said, psychology in a different way. Right. So these type of things you need to overcome. Right? Thank you very much Thank indeed. You.